James Rock Show. You're watching the Mike James Rock Show. It's Dan from the Mike James Rock Show. I'm going to get these lovely humans from Knuckle Puck to introduce themselves. I'm Ryan. I'm Nick. And we are at Slam Dunk. You are my yeah. first interview of the day. Oh, yeah. I'm not your first. A little bit rude, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> How have you guys found the festival so far? Standard question, I'm sorry. Great. Always great. Always welcoming. Take care of bands really well. The fans are fucking awesome. There's a lot of good beer. Yeah. The sun's coming out right now. Yep. yep. Incredible. That's my answer. Incredible. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And um, I'm right in thinking you guys haven't played yet, or right. have? Yeah, we have not. Right. Yeah. Nope. So, but you—it's the interesting thing about doing South is you did play yesterday. Yeah. Um, how was Leeds uh, for you guys? Uh, like, because obviously you can say it was crap if you want to, because we're in South and you want to, you know, make sure it's better here. But I thought it was fucking awesome. We played <laughs> to a shitload of people. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was amazing. Yeah. Some, some uh, thankful to be alive type shit. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's always good when we get a response to a festival like that. Yeah. And hoping for similar later as well. I think so. Yeah. Nice. I think it'll. Uh, I think it'll be just as good, if not better. Yeah. Well, you're on the high of yesterday, knowing a little bit what to face. And of course, mm. South is better because I'm here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Um, so, what have you guys been up to in the like lead up to Slam Dunk? Has it um, uh, any warm up shows, or has it just been straight into doing a festival performance? Yeah, we uh, we did um, uh, some shows in uh, Europe and the in the UK. Okay. Uh, like we did, we went to Germany and the Netherlands. Uh, in Europe, and then um, we did like uh, London a couple of days ago, uh, Birmingham. Uh, so yeah, we, we've done like a week and a half of shows before okay. this, so yeah, we had a good warm up. This is getting a bit more like real life again, because uh, last year's Slam Dunk, nobody had done any warm up shows because we were just coming out of lockdown in the pandemic. Are you guys feeling like it's a little bit back to normal for you guys as well? Or are you still running into like pandemic style obstacles? It's, it's feeling pretty normal at this point, yeah. We just came off a tour in the States earlier this year. The first couple of weeks of that was kind of like teeter-tottery weird, you know? But I, I feel back to normal. Nice. Shows are sick. People are kind of, yeah. And uh, I'm noticing that people aren't getting as ill um, as once were. So either yeah. the herd immunity or vaccines, whatever your flavor, seems to be working. Right. Yeah, so yeah. I'm really pleased about that because yeah. uh, from this perspective, like this is the first year where the UK has got sort of a normal amount of festivals. Yeah. Um, even Slam Dunk last year was rescheduled to make sure it was outside of lockdown. So sure. that, yeah. I'm super happy. <laughs> it's, it's nice to see, or it's nice not to see as many masks. You know? Yes. Like, obviously, it's a good thing to have it still if you're a little uneasy, but it's nice that people don't need to have them, you know? Yeah. Did you yeah. play a lot of shows to like just masked up crowds at any point or? Um, on the last show we did in the States, yeah, uh, especially in the beginning, uh, there was, I'd say like probably half the amount of people still chose to wear a mask. Really? Or, you know, maybe like 25%, but um, yeah, I'm glad to see that uh, that, you know, number has been decreasing, so. That's good. Um, yeah. What is the plan sort of after this uh, for you guys? Uh, where are you headed after Slam Dunk? Uh, after we get home, we're off for most of the summer. We really? just have okay. um, uh, like one festival, a couple of random things, uh, but mostly writing. Yeah, mostly ah, so, getting ready for the next record. Um, and is that sort of, do you think, in this year, next year, sort of uh, for the next? Uh, obviously, don't put, get yourself in trouble with any label. Oh, no, it's all good. <laughs> but yeah, I think the plan is to uh, have a record ready to go by the end of the year, so maybe put one out next year or, you know, we don't want to go too long without. Uh, you know, putting out new music, so. Are you still finding that there's a lot of ideas to get through from uh, the pandemic where you had a lot of time to sit and write down riff ideas, lyric definitely. ideas, stuff like that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we definitely have some songs written during the pandemic that we still haven't even recorded yet, so, uh, yeah, for sure. So for fans, it's literally a case of you guys got the next few years, new music sort of sorted, set. Um, got about a thousand songs for you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that, that's probably quite weird, because um, before the um, all of this, everybody was in that like album tour cycle, trying to write in a condensed amount of time, mm. then trying to record it. Have you found that it's changed things a little bit to come out on the road, knowing that when you go back, you've got a lot of ideas and it's not quite as pressurized? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Cool. Like, I think the hardest part is going to be just uh, getting rid of the, the not so strong ideas. Whereas before it was like, we just need ideas. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we've been touring and doing this and that and trying to enjoy being home when we are home. Yeah. That it's just kind of like, uh, uh, 
the uh, the number of ideas wasn't so high, but now it's like there's so many things floating around that it's like, okay, well, let's just figure out what the best ones are. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I guess the hardest part is just letting go of the ones that aren't so strong. Yeah, I feel like what was nice about having all that time is you didn't have to force yourself to do anything. You know no. what I mean? Force yourself to be creative. So a or lot of good, for, a lot of good stuff came out. I feel like. Yeah, I found a lot of people enjoyed because uh, because the whole industry was doing it at the same time. Yeah. Is it rested RSI or vocal cords or I'm not sure drummers ever need to rest because they seem to just be machines. <laughs> um, yeah, I can attest to that because our drummer John yesterday was his second show playing drums period in three and a half months because he broke his hand on our last tour um, and he just jumped right back into it so <laughs> they I mean, are he, machines yeah he, I, I couldn't believe it I was like man not a not a weird fill not a not nothing he just killed it so yeah props to your drummer in that yeah. case look it's been awesome talking to you guys I could probably carry on air chatting all day because you are the first person I've been allowed to talk to all day so yeah. uh, cheers dude thanks for having us no worries Welcome to the My James Rock Show.